Good day everyone, Dr. Polaris here, and welcome to the first episode of my new video series focusing on some of the strangest and rarest animals that inhabit this wonderful world of ours. The subject of today's episode is the large and bizarre looking Howe Island stick insect, Dryocosilis australis, commonly known as the Lord Howe Island stick insect or tree lobster, is a species of stick insect that lives on the Lord Howe Island group. It was thought to be extinct by 1920, but only to be rediscovered in 2001. It is extinct in its largest habitat, Lord Howe Island, and has been called the rarest insect in the world, as the rediscovered population consisted of only 24 individuals living on the small islet of Ball's Pyramid. Adult Lord Howe Island stick insects can measure up to 20 centimetres, 8 inches in length, and weigh 25 grams, 1 ounce, with males 25% smaller than females. They are oblong in shape and have sturdy, powerful legs. Males have thicker thighs than the females, and unlike most other stick insects, they have no wings but are able to run quickly. The behaviour of this animal is highly unusual for an insect species in that males and females form a pair bond to watch over their eggs. The females lay eggs while hanging from branches. Hatching can happen up to nine months later. The nymphs are first bright green and active during the day, but as they mature they turn black and become increasingly nocturnal. Reproduction can happen without the presence of males, known as parthenogenesis and this quality has allowed the species to survive when they are in low numbers. The stick insects were once very common on Lord Howe Island, an island southeast of the Australian mainland, where they were used as bait in fishing. They were believed to have become extinct soon after the supply ship SS Macambo ran aground on the island in 1918, allowing black rats to become established there. Without any larger predators to keep their numbers in check, the horde of black rats wrecked the island's ecosystem, with five endemic species becoming extinct in the following years. After 1920, no stick insects could be found on the island. However, in 1964, a team of climbers visiting Ball's Pyramid, a rocky sea stack 23 kilometers southeast of Lord Howe Island, discovered a dead stick insect there. During subsequent years, a few more recently dead insects were were discovered by climbers, but expeditions to find live specimens were unsuccessful. In 2001, Australian scientists David Priddle and Nicholas Carley hypothesised that there was sufficient vegetation on the islet to support a population of the insects, and with two assistants, travelled there to investigate further. They scaled 120 metres of grassy low-angled slope, but found only crickets. On their descent, the team discovered large insect droppings under a single maluka shrub growing in a crevice approximately 100 metres above the shoreline. They deduced that they would need to return after dark, when the insects were known to be active, to have the best chance of finding living specimens. Carly returned with local ranger Dean Hiscox, and, with a camera and torches, scrambled back up the slope. They discovered a small population of 24 insects living beneath the maluka shrub, amongst a substantial build-up of plant matter. In 2003, a research team from New South Wales National Parks and Wildlife Service returned to Ball's Pyramid and collected two breeding pairs, one destined for a private breeder in Sydney and the other sent to the Melbourne Zoo. After initial difficulties, the insects were successfully bred in captivity in Melbourne. The ultimate goal was to produce a large population for reintroduction to Lord Howe Island, providing that a project to eradicate the invasive rats was successful. In 2006, the captive population of insects numbered about 50 individuals, with thousands of eggs still waiting to hatch. In 2008, when Jane Goodall visited the zoo, the population had grown to 11,376 eggs and 700 individuals. 20 of which were soon after returned to a special habitat on Lord Howe Island. As of April 2012, the Melbourne Zoo had reportedly bred over 9,000 of the insects, including 1,000 adults and 20,000 eggs. In 2014, 
An unauthorized climbing team sighted live stick insects near the summit of Ball's Pyramid in a thicket of sedge plants rooted in very thin soils at an altitude of 500 meters, suggesting that the insect's range on the island is more widespread than previously thought, and that its food preferences are not limited to the Maluka tree. By the beginning of 2016, Melbourne Zoo had hatched 13,000 insects and had also sent eggs to the Bristol Zoo in England, the San Diego Zoo in the United States, and the Toronto Zoo in Canada, to establish distinct insurance populations. A 2017 study comparing DNA sequences of stick insects originating from Ball's Pyramid with those of museum specimens from Lord Howe Island showed that the Ball's Pyramid sequences differ from those on Lord Howe Island by a degree comparable to variation within the museum specimens, despite some morphological differences between the two groups. This confirms that the two populations represent the same species. Hopefully, the meddling rodents on Lord Howe Island can be eradicated so that this critically endangered insect can return to its original homeland. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll be getting back to speculative evolution and alter earth next week, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Cheerio!